Hi everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate you all so much. Okay, this is going to be your reading for Wednesday, um, August 7th. Yeah. I've already prayed over all the cards. I've already shuffled all the decks. We're pretty much ready to go. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. For the people that are going to watch this reading on YouTube, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most for Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. What's the most important thing we need to know for Wednesday's reading? For the people that are going to watch this on YouTube, please. Please, for Wednesday's reading. Okay. All right. Let me see what's at the bottom. This reverse King of Pentacles, he wants to come up a lot lately. Oh, that has to stay like that. Okay, so we start out the reading with this King of Pentacles reversed. It does have to do with the lovers, a relationship of some sort, or a decision that needs to be made, possibly in a love situation. I also have the Two of Cups here, um, and the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Cups reversed. All right, so I feel as though, in all honesty, what I'm getting, guys, is that there's been an insincere offer probably from this king of pentacles this can be a capricorn Taurus, or virgo man um we do have the lovers right or you know he could be upset because his offer was rejected in love too so we're going to look into that a little deeper because that could go either way and it could be different for each of you all right, so I'm feeling like the King of Pentacles is either upset because his love offer was denied or not accepted. And in, for, in some instances, I'm getting that the offer of love was not sincere here. Oh, okay. So for most of you, I think it was, um, it is that the person's upset because their love offer was denied. There's somebody who doesn't want to move forward with the Three of Wands. I love this card. Look at the Three of Wands. It's beautiful. Somebody manifesting their wishes, hopes, and dreams. It's in reverse. So I do feel like somebody's having a hard time moving forward. Maybe they're not using their intuition. We do have the High Priestess right in the middle of the reading. I feel like someone is not listening to their intuition on this one. But And somebody's holding on way too tightly, okay? And I know I've talked to you guys about this before. Look, if you want love to come in, you have to set it free. If it's meant to be, it's going to come back to you. That's not um, just a hokey, you know, saying. That's the truth, and that's really how the universe works. When you let go, when you're not expecting it, think about the best relationships you've ever had. They kind of just landed in your lap out of nowhere. You weren't holding on to someone. You weren't trying to. It just came out of nowhere. So I do feel like someone is, you know, not using their intuition. It's very possible that something came out with the high priestess in reverse. Sometimes information comes out. It's not always secrets. Sometimes it's just information. Um, I still feel that someone's not using their intuition here. They're not moving forward. They're not using their intuition about something they've been trying to hold on way too tightly about for, uh, to, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so focused on these other cards. Yeah, so they're not using their intuition here. 
Um, they're holding on way too tightly to something. Uh, okay, so when I look here, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Two of Cups. And look at, they look like very similar cards. They both have to do with some kind of partnership. Two of Cups can be really platonic. There can be a Leo involved. The Two of Cups in this card, if you see the lion there, represents Leo. But it doesn't have to be, guys. But something, like, something about a partnership here. You know, I feel as though the Queen of Cups is reaching out to some kind of partnership here. It doesn't have to be love. It can be platonic. But with the lovers here, I'm thinking it could be a love relationship. Um, now, we also have uh, peace and home and family. Something to do with the relationship, your home, your family life. It's a challenge here for some reason. I wonder why. All right, so it does seem as if there are challenges to this relationship, and I think it's mostly about someone um, holding back. I feel like there's a like a lot of holding back, and this card can be considered a holding back card, the Four of Pentacles. So I feel as though we do have a person, possibly a Cancer or Pisces, that's really kind of holding back in the situation. There is something that, I mean, with the Queen of Cups in the upright, this person isn't, um, they're in the upright, so if they're the same person, I feel as though there's no wrongdoing here, like nobody's cheating, nobody's lying, I mean, unless it's the King of Pentacles. Like I said, this can be an insincere offer, or this person might not know if this is sincere or not, and that might be why they're holding back. So I do see an offer of some sort. I need to look at that because it could be, um, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, shoot. I think, are these the, oh no, this is a different deck. Okay, I thought I was shuffling the same deck we used. All right, so let's keep this out. I want to just look at the bottom of the deck here too. I mean, hmm. All right, let's just. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please help us clarify this reading. It's Wednesday, July. What did we say? Did we say 7th or 8th? I think the 8th. It's for Wednesday, July 7th. Okay, July 7th. I, I'm sorry, August. Why am I saying July? Let me make sure. Yeah. August 7th, Wednesday. Okay. This reading is for Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. Please bring through the messages for Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. For the people that are going to watch this reading, please help us clarify the cards we've already laid down for Wednesday's reading, please. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Oh, oh, uh oh. Hold on, guys. I lost them. Okay, I lost a couple cards. <laughs> All right. Okay, for Wednesday, uh, July 7th, 2019, please tell us what we need to know about the cards we already have laid down. Tell us about the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here? Wednesday's reading. All right, someone has had to go within to look at things from a different perspective with the hanged man. All right, so someone is really um, spiritually going within to uh, figure things out about themselves, about other people. Um, it's a very spiritual time of really um, gathering spiritual information, um, becoming spiritually enlightened, okay? Maybe this King of Pentacles really needed spiritual enlightenment. He is in reverse. All right, can we have one more on the King of Pentacles and why he's reversed here, please, for Wednesday's reading? 
Seven of Wands. Okay, so the Seven of Wands is reversed. So letting down, somebody's letting down their guard in a situation. Somebody was feeling very defensive, very on guard. Um, they just, um, they're not doing it anymore. They're letting down their guard. And it's possible they can't defend themselves in a situation. Like there's nothing they can do. That's very possible. So they've had to go within gain spiritual enlightenment in the situation. Let's look at the Knight of Cups reversed. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Wednesday's reading. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? Oh. All right, yeah, someone's healing. All right, there's news coming forward about someone who's been healing from a situation. Um, this is like, all right, so we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. I feel as though someone is healing from something and you're gonna, I feel as though they had to deny the love offer. They had no choice, they are literally in the midst of a healing here. So I feel like um, there's going to be news of this. Like you're going to find out, oh my gosh, they're healing. No wonder they can't like, you know, if, if you are the one that offered the love, you're going to find out that they couldn't accept it, not because they don't care or, yeah, this is simply just getting news about someone who's going through a healing. That's it. All right. So, and they might be in the reverse. If they're, if this is them, the Knight of Cups in reverse, they're reversed because they are healing from something. All right. Let's look at the, um, let's look at the Three of Wands reversed. Oh, wow. That, these just like flew out. <laughs> I'm not going to take them though. Three of Wands reversed in the situation, please. Why is the Three of Wands reversed? beginning okay yeah uh, all right so we have the page of pentacles and the ace of wands they kind of came out on their side as if they wanted to come out as a challenge here so i feel like someone can't move forward right now someone wants to make an offer of this new beginning but um everything's kind of stuck right now i really think it all comes back to this person going through their healing let's talk about the um Let's talk about the High Priestess reversed. Why is the High Priestess reversed? Another challenge, needing to make a decision. The High Priestess needs to make a decision and it might be between two people. This particular deck always makes me feel like the High Priestess needs to make a decision about two people. It's the Two of Pentacles. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it could be two directions. It can be just needing to balance things out um needing to make a decision on what they're doing where they're going in their life whatever it is um doesn't have to be one thing or the other let's get one more high priestess in reverse why is the high priestess in reverse for this reading this could just be someone needing to use their intuition with a choice that needs to be made okay high priestess reverse please why is it here new beginning okay yeah they need to think about whether they should walk away or stay at a new with something that could be a new beginning all right um with the ace of swords and the and this could be revisiting something with the eight of cups in reverse see the eight of cups it's in the reverse now this new become beginning comes with blood sweat and tears it's a little harsh in this deck but it is a new beginning even though it comes uh, from a lot of blood sweat and tears all right so I think that the high priestess um, is someone who really needs to use their intuition in a choice that needs to be made and it may be to revisit a situation or revisit something um, and possibly um, maybe get the truth in a situation or they may be saying some truth in a situation. 
they may be telling talking about the truth of why they walked away from a situation and I believe that their intuition was the reason they walked away their intuition told them to walk away from something I really believe that all right so that's what I'm getting mo for most of you all right now what are we holding on to so tightly here or holding back from? Like I said, this can also be holding back. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, please, for this reading, Wednesday's reading? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ah, we have a cycle. Uh, someone's trying to stop the wheel. You can't stop the wheel, guys. I mean, you can hold it up for a while, but... Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in here. It is reversed, meaning it's not time yet. There's something that's got to give before the wheel will, will turn here. Some new cycles trying to come into this situation, but some, I really feel like a person is holding off this cycle from completing so that there can be a new cycle that comes in. Let's talk about the Two of Cups here. Or it could be something that's got to give, all right? The Two of... Um, well, yeah, let's look at the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Trapped. Queen of Cups feels trapped. This is usually trapped in your mind. She might be feeling trapped in a partnership of some sort, in some kind of a relationship. Why is the Eight of Swords here with the Queen of Cups? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, darn it. I have to tell you guys that the I saw the sun card come out in the upright. She might be trapped in a um, relationship with a Leo. Because look, the Leo card, remember? All right, so why does the Queen of Cups feel so trapped in this relationship? This could be any kind of a relationship. It's platonic. It's whatever way it is. It can be love. It can be any type of relationship. All right, let's talk about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here in this reading? Wednesday's reading for the collective. Oh. Why is the Two of Cups here? The card of grieving just turned over too, guys. So, Two of Cups. Why is it here, please? Lovers. Okay, this is definitely love. All right, so this, and I'm, the Five of Cups popped out too. This person could be stuck grieving about a relationship from the past with a Leo. All right, give me, um, well, all right. All right, let's look at the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Why are they here together in this reading? Lovers and Two of Cups, please. All right, so what we got was the Page of Cups reversed and the Magician. This person's trying to manifest I feel like they're trying to manifest like a, a sincere relationship, something sincere. I feel like I want to look at the Page of Cups reversed. Or manifest an apology from someone who did something to them. Let's talk about the Page of Cups reversed. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here? Yeah, it has to do with love and family and home. Okay, with the Four of Wands. So something insincere happened or an apology needs to be made in a situation. Um, and they're manifesting this. Like they are manifesting this new offer apology something it's in the reverse so i feel like something insincere happened here give me one more on the page of cups reverse please for this reading why is the page of cups in the reverse oh toxic okay yeah this was a karmic relationship or a toxic relationship the devil and the king of cups so, the King of Cups and the Devil together um, make me believe that the, 
yeah, there was insincerity because this person's karmic. They were sent here to teach lessons and all that stuff. All right, so the problem is the relationship they were in was very toxic. Could have been with a Scorpio, could have been with a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, definitely, they felt trapped with the devil here in a toxic union. And they're trying to manifest better. All right, so they don't want any more karmic relationships. They don't want any more toxic people in their lives. And they are like literally healing from going through toxic stuff. All right, so the Queen of Cups has felt very trapped in a situation. I swear it's with a Leo. I swear this person was a Leo. Yes, they might have um, water in their chart, but I feel like they have Leo too because of the sun popping out and the Two of Cups, like I said, in this deck has the lion on it. This was something. Let's talk about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, let's do that again. Oh. Got it. All right. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Not moving forward. Uh-uh. No, they're not going to move forward. They're going to end this or they're just going to transform. They're going through a transformation of their own, I think. Um, I feel as though, yeah, this was a Scorpio. Uh, this, I think the death card's coming out. They ended or ended a relationship with a Scorpio. They didn't move forward with it because the light was shown on the situation and it could have been, like I said, Scorpio and Leo combined um, about how trapped they were, how toxic this was. This really left them so stuck in their head. Um, no, they're not going to move forward with this. Uh -uh. Or they haven't anyway. I mean, I don't feel like they're going to. I don't know. They're trying to manifest something really nice. I mean, they are manifesting the lovers and the two of cups in the upright. Like this is going to be my best friend and my lover and they're not going to be toxic. Like that's, I mean, look, the magician here, the magician, they are manifesting something that is not toxic. It's going to be their lover and their best friend. That's it. They don't want any more karmics. All right, let's talk about the Four of Wands here. Why is the Four of Wands here, please? It's the challenge. Why is it the challenge? I think they're really wanting a peaceful home life. When you're with a karmic, your life is a mess. Tell me about the Four of Wands here. Why is it the challenge for this reading? Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right. We got the Empress in reverse. So I feel like this is the same person going through a bunch of stuff that they've gone through. New beginning in love. The beautiful card. It's one of my favorites. Okay. So um, this person has had, you know, with the home and peace and happiness card being a challenge and the Empress in reverse. This Empress has been through some challenges in her home and family. And what she's manifesting is a brand new beginning, but it's going to be on, it's going to be on some pretty specific terms. Best friend and lover, that's it. I do not want you to be karmic. If you got issues, leave them at the door. Um, you know, I really, I feel like this person and I can totally relate to this reading is just like really healing from something like, I mean, I can see that they're healing from something. Yes, there's offers coming in. I see the new beginnings here. I mean, three aces showed up in this reading. There's new offers, new beginnings on the table, but I feel like they're just like, not till I'm done healing and manifesting. Like they are just working. They're working it. All right, so guys, let's keep going here and see if we can't get some after tarot. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Please bring through after tarot messages for this reading for Wednesday. And what did I say the date was? The 7th, right? Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. I don't know why I can't remember that date. 
August 7th, Wednesday, 2019. What do we need to know next about what happens with this situation? What comes next? For the collective, for the people that are going to watch this on YouTube, tell us what comes next. Wow. Mm, wow. All right. All right. Okay. The healing, still happening. Okay. The Four of Swords. This is the same healing card. Still healing. All right. I think that this is them walking away from the karmic. Like, they've... I feel like this already happened, though. You know, sometimes it takes a, a while to get the full cut. You know, like, I'm done. Um, there's going to be some kind of reunion, and it is the Queen of Cups. There is going to be some happiness to come in this situation. Some kind of reunion... Uh, a celebration at the least something having maybe going out with friends this person's healing and been through a lot they're probably going to go out and have some fun and they need to all right i do feel as though they're walking away from something that didn't serve them anymore okay and they're doing their healing thing i feel like when this healing process is over they're going to do what they need to do and go out and have a little bit of fun all right guys tell me if this resonated with you um Please like, share, subscribe, let me know, you know, comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Anyway, have a great Wednesday. Thursday's reading will be out soon after this one. Okay, bye.